Tonight's Raising the Bar, state Republicans and Democrats agree the current education funding plan in Nevada needs major changes. And as 13 Action News, Brian Callahan now tells you the biggest challenge here is both sides really see different paths to improving the results inside the classroom. It irks us. It really does. Sitting, sitting here in a classroom knowing we can't do anything about it. Students in the AP government class at Del Sol Academy spent more than an hour giving Superintendent Jesus Jara their thoughts on funding problems in the district. Something that will be a huge talking point as the legislature gathers in Carson City with leading Democrats looking to change the way schools are funded in Nevada. What we will have is a discussion and I would hope that everybody you know, wants to fund education based on the needs of the child and everybody, want, we want to help all of our kids in Nevada. Senate Education Chair Mo Dennis is pushing for a new plan to fund schools based on the needs of children instead of the current plan that treats every student with the same value. This is most agree English language learners, special education, and academically advanced students all need more resources than the average student. We know that those all cost more, but currently we fund them all at the same amount. The senator's plan would give multipliers for students in those categories with that money expected to go to the student's school. Advocates of the plan saying the formula will provide for every student fairly instead of the current categorical funding that is sent to schools with higher populations in students in need of extra resources. There's kids in a five-star school that are low achieving, um, but we didn't provide any extra funds for that. Former Republican State Senate candidate Byron Brooks says one of the big issues he has with moving away from the categorical funding is all money will now be filtered through the district office. In a weighted formula, the money comes from the state to the district to the school. In a categorical formula, the money comes from the state to the school. Brooks says it is easier to track the results schools get from their extra resources when it's given under the current categorical model, rather than all of the funding being pushed into one large pool. It allows for the accountability of funds, and that's most importantly, that's what we have to have. Dennis maintains assigning the weight to each student will make it even easier to track how much money is being used at each school. It's much more transparent. Um, and people will understand how much money is going, you know, and in what ways. While Superintendent Jara will be speaking with lawmakers and Governor Steve Sisolak as they decide the future of education in the next few months, Jara said it is just as important for students and their parents to reach out to lawmakers with their answer to the most basic question of the fight. What's the greatest need for you as a student? Brian Callahan, 13 Action News, raising the bar.